Hey guys, this is a friend Mainak from Civil Center and I welcome all of you back to our channel another video on STAT. So friends, in today's video, we'll show you the full process of designing a small building room in STAT using the Indian codes. So without wasting any time, let's get started. So first of all, we need to insert some coordinates in STAT. And before that, let me tell you, we have to save this file. I have created a separate folder to, you know, save the file in, uh, save the STAT file. As you can see, I have created a separate folder for that and I have also named it. So uh, this is important because all the stat files will be saved in that particular folder. So now we can get started with what working. So let's insert uh, normal uh, coordinates here. So if you go to the top view, then it will be helpful for you to insert the coordinates. So as you can see, this uh, is the default coordinate system which you uh, observe in stat. This is the X axis and this is the Z axis. So if, if we start from this point uh, zero, 00, so let's uh, just you can just click the tab uh, button in your particular computer. So this is the first coordinate, it is 0, 0. So let the next X coordinate be your 4. And Y coordinate will be 0 because we are designing this uh, building for the plinth level. So and then for the Z, the coordinate can be 0. So we have uh, made this coordinate and this coordinate. And next, let's go for a separate coordinate coordinate so we'll go with x as 0 y as a 0 and z as your minus 4 so as you can see we have made a coordinate here so instead of minus 4 if you just give it as plus 4 you can also edit this and as plus 4 also as per your choice just do this as plus 4 that will also do so as you can see, this coordinate has been done. So next coordinate we want as x will be 4, y will be automatically 0 and z will be 4. So like this, we can make the coordinate system in the stat. So now the next thing which we can do, we can check it in the isometric view. As you can see this, this is the view from the particular 3d view so again we'll go back to the particular top view and we'll this time use the option of add beams to add these beams together so while adding the beams we'll uh, remember that we'll go for left to right and bottom to top so like this if even if, if it, even if it's a, a structure with the many uh, spans for that also we'll follow the same procedure so after adding the beams we can again check in the 3d view so as you can see this represents our plinth level and we'll add more floors above it. So now you can uh, select this and after selecting this, you can use the option of translation repeat. Y direction is above in this case. So we'll just give this Y and the spacing, let's give it as three meters. Just click on here and then OK. So as you can see, the particular next floor has been made. Now, when you have a building, make sure that you connect only the nodes which have the columns. So we'll connect the nodes. We are not using the link steps because using the link steps all the nodes will be connected but in place of an actual building there will be columns and only the columns you have to connect. So suppose we have four columns in this particular building let's connect these four columns together. And after connecting this four columns we can just go to the front view and then click on escape and then select the columns and the beams of the ground floor slab and then go to translation repeat give a make it this y and give this a spacing of well, let's say three meters click here and then ok so as you can see now the steps have been copied so now we can assign some supports to it so you have this various option here of general and then you have the option of support and here you can create a support this fixed support which will create it represents that the foundation part and the column above the foundation which will be below the plinth level are monolithic with the structure which we are making making so we'll just click on this support and we'll just select this nodes we'll just press control you can use your uh, scroll buttons in the keyboard to rotate this model and with the help of control we'll just select this four points where we have columns you when you have in the practical structure when you have columns you need to give supports below every column and not in every intersection okay so we'll just assign this and after this has been assigned then we what we can do is 
we can define the material properties also so we'll go to properties and we'll go to define so now in the actual case you can define different properties for different uh, levels for now we'll just give a property of 0.25 into 0.25 for all the uh, columns as well as the beams but you can assign you know separate properties for the columns and beams as well so after you know defining this we'll just select okay let's uh, select the entire structure here and we'll give this property to assign to selected beam just assign this and after that what we'll do we'll go towards the loading part so we'll go toward the loads and definitions and let's go to this particular load case details and before that also you can go to seismic definitions and add a seismic definition here and we'll go you can select the code of the country in which you want to design this let's go with the is1893 which is a seismic code according to indian uh, codes we'll just uh, click, uh, click on generate and after we click on generate we'll give the zone of the city in which you want to design and we'll select here omrf because if you, for the normal buildings with the masonry buildings with door and door and window you can select this particular omrf so after selecting this omrf you can select this medium soil and medium soil and we are designing uh, rcc building here concrete buildings and so we are using this and just click on generate and after clicking on generate you can click on add after clicking on add you just click close because the remaining things we'll do in the stat editor that is easier so load case details will add and uh, let's add some uh, some loads here so in let's add some dead uh, seismic load first so there is seismic load in two directions since it's a letter load in the x and the z so it will be s l x and next will be your s l z and then let's add some dead load here to the dead load we'll do that dl and live load we'll do as ll so like this we have added the load successfully and now let's uh, add a factor in the seismic load self add factor minus one let's do with this one and this value also it depends on the is1893 you can uh, this can be uh, you know particular one as well Point three as well so the, it depends but let's take as one for now and here are the dead loads so let's add some dead loads so what are the dead loads we are going to take load of the slab because we are not going to assign any slab since the slab design is uh, not possible uh, not economical uh, in the stat software so we will not uh, assign any slab instead we will assign the slab loads and also we will assign the loads of the walls which are above this particular beams so in the y direction we will just give it, uh, give it a self weight of minus one that is it will act from the top to bottom so it's minus one if it goes from the bottom to top it will be plus one since the low dead load acts like this from top to bottom it will be minus one so we have added the self weight factor next let's add for the particular wall load so wall load let's take as a minus 5.5 you can calculate the wall load which you're going to take load for the walls by multiplying the thickness of the wall into the unit weight of the brick plus mortar into the height of the wall so like this you can calculate this value let's take 5 minus 5.5 for now and click on add so after doing this you can just go to this particular flow load and we'll add the flow load so flow load is uh, calculation is very simple it's actually the thickness of the slab into the unit weight of concrete so if the thickness of the slab uh, let me open the calculator here let's show the calculation so so suppose if the thickness of the slab is your uh, 150 mm so it will be 0 0.15 into the unit weight of concrete which is 25 kN per meter cube so the slab weight will be in this case 3.75 kN per meter square but let's take a thickness of 100 mm so this will be 25 into 0 0.1 which will be 2.5 kN per meter square so depending on the slab thickness you can assign this particular pressure so uh, once you uh, make the structure or before the structure also if you can design the slab and then you can uh, find out this thickness according to that thickness you can provide the pressure here so let's give it minus 2.5 because it acts again acts from the top to bottom add and the range you have to define that you have, can define the range here you can go to edit and now the range is interesting so this is zero in let's start with y so this is 0 0 so the range will start from this 3 this is 3 and this is 6 so we have to uh, define a range where 3 and 6 both come so let's go with 2 to 7 so in that 
these two floors will come because in the bottom floor we don't have any slab because this is the plinth level so x range let's define as x range so minimum x which you have here is your zero so x range is defined as minus one and maximum x which you have is four so minus one to five zero and four both come here similarly z range is also similar here in the actual structure you have to do that check that and then i'll just change this and as you can see this live load sorry the floor load has been assigned now we have to do for the wall load as well so for the wall loads you can just select this and then you can select the beams in which we want to assign the wall load so i'll go to the front view and in this case i can select the all the walls in the actual case uh, for the actual structure you can select the uh, walls which are the uh, load of the 10 inch wall which are the load of the particular 5 inch wall or the different walls and then you can assign them but here we are taking as uh, all have the same walls so we are uh, selecting like this and we'll just select this option of and then yes so after this has been assigned let's assign the self weight as well and we'll do this self weight as, as so this has been assigned this self weight also we can assign this also self weight the seismic load assign to view let then uh, next we'll go uh, to stat editor and after going to stat editor we'll just uh, save this model once again and after going to stat editor as you can see now you have to understand uh, this particular program to you know do this better so here we have uh, all the properties of uh, this uh, loading so above this particular option of your seismic load we can as you can see this zone has been defined we, here we can import some of the loadings so as you can see from the dead load as you can see we which which we have in the dead load option we have the self weight and the member loads so here in these particular member loads and also you have the flow loads as well so in this particular option of your dead loads we can just copy this and we can just paste this here so here we'll just remove the sign and we'll remove the y direction as well because it acts in like this so there here it will be member weight please know that you can do this manually as well but we are just uh, taking uh, using the stat editor for doing this minus 5.5 we'll just remove the symbol and the gy flow load also we'll just go with weight and we'll just delete the symbol here and here also we'll just remove the gy symbol and now this is the particular load due to the lead dead load since the dead uh, since seismic load considers the particular dead load as well as the live load for the live load we have to give a live load here also so for the flow load which we have in the dead load part as you can see here dead load part has this uh, member load and the flow load as well so we'll copy this flow load and then we'll enter this in the live load part so live load will be minus 2 for the residential we'll do this as minus 2 and this changes has been done and now in the seismic load also as you can see here if the live load is 2 then we have to take 0.25 percent of that if it is more than 3 we will take 0.5 percent so 0.25 percent we can add here in the particular uh, seismic load part as you can see here this is the particular member weight floor weight now in, the, in this particular floor load we can add the particular seismic load part so it will be let's uh, do it as 3 so now this floor weight is 3 this member weight is 5.5 and uh, everything else is defined so now everything uh, else is defined we'll just close this uh, particular uh, file so after saving this so now one error will come so we don't need to worry about that because that error will be you know removed when we add analysis and print so after adding analysis print that particular error will be removed so we'll just proceed with this then now we can go to this particular option of analysis and print and after that we can add analysis if you please note that if you may add multiple times there is no option to delete this so make sure that you uh, you know uh, use this command wisely but 
and there will be no problem in uh, designing the software if you add this analysis multiple times the only uh, problem will be there will be some errors which will be generated which will show due to multiple analysis so let me add some uh, multiple analysis to show you but you shouldn't do that you should do that one time only i'm just uh, adding this analysis processes and after that next step which we're going to do is going to we're going to go to analyze and then we are going to do this analysis run analysis so analysis run analysis now we're going to check whether we have any errors obviously some warnings will come because we have added this uh, perform analysis multiple times but uh, there shouldn't be any error so now as you can check there are no errors here only warnings are coming due to this particular multiple times which you have used of uh, analysis as you can see this here the warnings and obviously we haven't added the slab so the uh, nodes for the slab is there remaining our model is clean so this if you follow this process for all buildings then you can get a clean model uh, only if your member is failing then it will show some warnings bye